Hi, my name is Dan, and this is Angle Guys. Welcome to the channel. Good morning. So, um, for those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. Please have a look around, watch some of my videos, see what you think, leave me a comment, or feedback, questions, likes, those are all greatly appreciated. For those of you that are returning, you know what to do. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you that um, uh, subscribe to the Patreon page, you guys are awesome. Thank you so very much for supporting me there. For those of you that don't know about the Patreon page, if you go to angleguys 333 over at Patreon, you get the daily uh, forecast for a day early. Hence why I pre-tape these now, so that I can make release them one day early over on Patreon for my viewers over there. There's also different um, pick a cards and voting polls and things like that over there that you can be a part of if, depending on what level of subscription you choose to partake in. But that's a great way to support the channel. If you're watching these daily videos, um, it's a way to help keep them free for others. Um, this is a message. This is the sort of like your uh, message for the greater collective for the highest good. Okay. So it's sort of like your spiritual weather report is how I look at it. We're looking at the energy of what's going on this week. What we want to be focused on, where we want our energies to be kind of channeled towards, what we want to like, you know, be aware of going through the week. It's sort of like your energetic weather report. So this is for everybody, right? This is a broad spectrum reading that is set by spirit. So it is indeed intended for Monday, March 9th, but it's also a higher good message or a, a message for the greater good. Therefore, I believe the message becomes timeless. So if you're seeing this and it's not March 9th, that's okay. It could be that you're ready for this message at this time. So feel free to continue to watch it. You might actually get something out of it or it might pertain to your situation when maybe on March 9th it didn't. So beyond that, if you guys want to support me even further, you can go to uh, Instagram and follow me at angledex333. Um, if somebody wants to educate me on how Instagram works, you can definitely personal message me at my business page on Facebook. Give that page a like. You can also DM me at Instagram or on my Facebook business page for private readings. I am available to do those and if you have any questions you might have in regards to that. So let's see what's going on with the energy for March 9th, Monday. We had that beautiful reading yesterday, Sunday's reading. Um, it was very female empowered, so I don't know um, if you guys saw it. If you haven't, go back and look at it. It's a beautiful start to the week for a Sunday, but it also is the underpinning energy of the entirety of the week. So there's a lot of like empowerment happening um, this week. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean just for females. It just had a heavy feminine presence with the two queens on either side of the week. So um, I really liked it. And then the stability of the emotional cup, four of cups in the center, which is also to me, it's a masculine sort of emotional part, but the cups do represent as a sort of feminine suit to me in a way. So I like that there was a lot of strength, a mixture of like sort of strength and femininity throughout this week. Like a very, very nice balance. Let's see what Monday's got. Let's build upon this energy and see what we've got going on. Wow, we keep having these sort of repeat cups again. Interesting. What is going on emotionally? I feel like we are waking up. I look at this Nine of Cups. We just had this card. What day was it? Uh, Saturday. It showed up. And to me, this is all about abundance. This is about gathering around those that we love, um, appreciating those that we love, and also allowing them to appreciate us. Seeing things on a more abundant side or an abundant scale, if that makes sense. And the reason why I say this is I feel like, you know, my viewers, you may be this, this cup and another viewer might be this cup and another viewer might be this cup, this cup with the star on it, right, on the front. But all of these other cups are kind of gathering around, sort of looking at these cups going like, wow, where'd you get that great star? <laughs> That's sort of how I feel. And then these sparkling stars all around to me feel like that sort of idea of abundance or magic happening around us. And this being a cups card would deal with the element of water or the emotions. So to me, I would feel like if Monday we're feeling like sort of uh, uh, emotionally empowered, if we're feeling emotionally sort of buoyant, um, happy uh, for those of you that aren't right because I know that I've got a, a, a particular viewer who always thinks I'm talking directly to her so I am talking directly to you Mary um, you know for those of you that are struggling you need to get into this energy 
You need to find your way towards this energy. You need to know that this energy is made available to you. If you're feeling like shit and crap, then you're choosing to feel like shit and crap. And I do it myself. I'm not blaming anybody or saying, oh, you should know how to do this. I'm not shooting on you. What I'm saying is, is you're shooting on yourself. If you're caught up in the shoulds, instead of like dwelling in the possibility, then you're going to have probably a more miserable experience. And these cups can then feel sort of oppressive and sort of feel like they're around us kind of blocking us or making us, you know, even more emotional. And that's an abundance in and of itself, right? It can be an abundance of like sort of negative emotions. But overall, the Nine of Cups is not a negative card. It's an abundance that is a, a positive uh, uh, doing, right? So I want to say... To those of you that might be struggling this Monday, think about the idea of where can you find appreciation in yourself and then in turn in others, or where can you allow yourself enough grace to allow others to appreciate you so that you can see more clearly for yourself exactly everything that you have going for you. Everything may not be perfect, guys, but it is actually, how do I wanna say this? Because I know you guys are gonna say, that's a ball of shit. It's perfectly set up for you to uh, learn whatever you need to learn right now, right? There's a certain point at, in all of this where we have to realize that we're somewhat, we have a hand in creating the experience that we have, even those that we don't enjoy, right? Even those experiences that we're struggling with, we are sort of at some level in acceptance of with them and of them, and therefore they're happening to us to either teach us, to bring us forward, to teach us how to stop accepting this sort of bullshit into our life, but this Nine of Cups says to me, we can shift that. We can shift our perception. We need to look at what we have, not what we don't. We need to look at what's working, not what's not. If we're, and I'm going to go back to you, Mary. If we are posting about everything that's not working over and over again, because you and I just became friends on Facebook, so I'm seeing your post, girl. And the majority of them are kind of like, Rah. look what happened. Rah, rah. Well, what are you going to get? You're going to get more. Rah, rah. You know, because that's what you're focusing on. When I said change that poop emoji background on your post, I'm serious. Life is not shit. And if you view it like it's shit, then that's what you're going to get. Right? And so it's very important the message we put out there. I noticed this with another viewer in the Angu Best group. She was very upset and depressed and was talking about how she couldn't leave the house. And I'm not saying that I don't have moments where I can't leave the house or I don't get depressed or sad, right? But I have to find my way through it. I have to acknowledge that it's there to show me something. When I resist it, it comes on harder. It comes on faster. It's a more of a struggle. And then in the resistance, it stays longer, right? And so to me, this Nine of Cups says that we have an opportunity here to embrace everything that we do have, good, bad, and otherwise, allow others to appreciate it, allow ourselves to appreciate it, and to really shine on Monday if we choose to. But we have to act actively choose that, take responsibility for that choice, and move forward. It's super easy to say, oh, everything else is the problem. It's super easy to say, oh, if they only treated me this way, then I would be happy. Or, oh, if this only would work out, then I would be happy. That's not necessarily the truth. You have to go out and seek and find and create your own happiness, regardless of what's going on in your world. So I feel like that's what this Nine of Cups is about, is the creation of that at an emotional level. And staying focused on that for you guys. For those of you that are struggling, it's going to be harder. I'm going to be honest. But the payoff will be richer. The payoff will be bigger and better. So it's there. Let's see what the universe got, has your back has to say. The moment, we've seen this card before too, the moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this again because every time I see this card, it makes me, it's a Rorschach card to me. It looks like a brain. It looks like we're in the center of our brain where our pineal gland, this circle here where our pineal gland um, resides, right? That's where we sort of like are psychically creating where, you know, the center of our brain where our thoughts are emanating from, where energy is coming from. So I feel like this is a reminder to realign with that idea of love and allow that clear direction to be presented to you which way you want to head. There's going to be an abundance of energy following with these thoughts. There's going to be a lot of opportunity. It might be the fact that we're at the ninth. We are ending the retrograde. Things are setting right and we're going into the full moon, guys. 
So we saw all of that, you know, feminine queen energy for Sunday and throughout this week. And we are in the full moon week. We're in the, like, you know, we're getting ready to hit the beginnings of spring, which is definitely a, you know, Wiccan sort of <laughs> creative space, let's just call it, or time. So we need to be conscious of where our mind is at, where our thoughts are at, and realign them with love. Love of ourself even. We don't have to understand and love everyone or what they do or how they do it. But we need to realign ourselves with that love so that we can um, bring in that clear direction. And with that clarity, that's that queen of swords that we saw in the beginning a few days of the week. That's the clarity, the clear direction that we need so that we can sort of cut away or take authority in situations that aren't, are muddying our experience, right? But we get the choice. We get the choice to either stay in the muddied experience and bitch about it, or cut ourselves free of the muddy experience and move on and focus on something better. And trust me, guys, I sit in my own shit and I get stuck in my own stuff in my own home and don't want to leave and don't want to crawl out of bed and I understand. But it becomes my own, you know, cross to bear, so to speak. And that's what I have to do is like work with that, work through that and get myself out of it. It really is, is up to me and no one else. All right. The grounding stone for the day. This is friends. So I'm going to say this, for those of you that might feel like you can't get out of this, <clears throat> turn to your friends, turn to the people you can trust. Be a friend to another. Be supportive to one uh, to another person, maybe, and and that might be this nine of cups energy that allows us to sort of allows others to see us in a light that is abundant and wonderful, and it actually shines a light on us that we maybe don't necessarily see about our own experience. It also helps to realign us with this love, right? Our love of them and our love of ourselves. We gain a greater appreciation for. Um, not only them, but ourselves in the process because we're doing something right by them. And if we're not doing something right by somebody else, rely upon your friends. Talk to your friends. If you're feeling rough, if you're having a hard time, you're not feeling this abundant emotional energy and you want to have it come through, then have a pep talk with your friend. Have a pep rile, as Nicki Minaj would say, right? But it's up to you to kind of take the active, um, that's the decisiveness of that Queen of Swords that we saw. It's also that midweek card of the stability of that Four of Cups that was from yesterday's um, uh, uh, forecast, right? Is that idea of making those clear, decisive, like sort of decisions, moving forward in them, and then start starting to balance that, um, those, um, that emotional aspect of ourselves by the midweek. We've got an abundance of emotions, be it good or bad, and all of it's an opportunity to shine. All of it's an opportunity to sort of realign ourselves within our thoughts, within our brain, to the space of love and center ourselves. This circle here keeps saying like, center yourself in your thoughts and allow clear direction to be presented to you. Don't doubt yourself, right? The Queen of Swords is not about doubting herself. It's clear, decisive thinking and living with those decisions and knowing that we can adapt and, and if something goes different or wrong than we expected, we will make changes in the moment. All right, that is your forecast for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's interesting we're seeing like the same sort of grouping of cards coming around. Um, it says to me some of you maybe need to hear this message more than once. I love you all for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow to further build upon this. Please tune in for this week's uh, How I Can Help You Hour and The Charming on Friday night, and I will see you then. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.